All right. This sign stealing thing is the most ridiculous thing in all of sports. Why are people talking about it? Why are they pretending this is a big deal? I can't even believe this is something. It's beyond ridiculous. And all this is is jealousy. So the question is, who is so jealous of Michigan right now? Hmm, I wonder what team has the power to get the attention from the NCAA. I wonder who it could be. I'm going to guess Ohio State. I'm going to guess Ohio State who has been beaten by Michigan two years in a row, and it's going to be three years in a row after this season. I'm thinking that they are the ones that contacted the NCAA and told them about Michigan stealing signs. I have heard no one talk about this because everyone is dumb. So let me be the smart one and tell you that when you see on the sideline them, uh, you know, throwing up their little signs with the little symbols, who in the world thinks that those stay the same from game to game? Example, if I throw up a poster board and it's He-Man and you see that we run a draw play, do you think that anyone is stupid enough to use He-Man again for a draw play? No, no one is that stupid. The next time you see He-Man, it will be a completely different play. So the idea that you could go <clears throat> and film someone doing signs and then be able to say, oh, well, this poster board had a pancake on it. It had a tiger. It had a, uh, a truck. And it had a, um, a pillow. That means that they're going to do a screen pass. Because that's what they did last time. Come on, man. Not going to happen. Just like in baseball, it's the same thing in football. You know that they're looking at your signs. Everybody does it. Everybody knows it. And it's all useless things. You're switching out your signs. So why that dude from Michigan would even do that, I don't know. Because once again, they're going to switch their signs anyway. So Ohio State, the only way they can lose to Michigan is because they're stealing signs. Not because Michigan's offensive line absolutely just destroys Ohio State. That can't be the reason. It has to be them stealing signs. It's pathetic. Let me help you guys. Michigan is winning the Big Ten because they are the best team in the Big Ten. Their offensive line is the best in the Big Ten. And their defense is extremely deep this season. And they are just the best team in the Big Ten. And the best team in college football this year. So stop the jealousy. You're not losing because of signs. You're losing because you're getting out-recruited on the line. And as we all know, when you can win in the trenches, you have an excellent chance of being the best team. And that's what Michigan has been doing. Now, big picture, Michigan's going to win a national championship because Georgia 
is not the Georgia of the last two seasons. Alabama is not the Alabama of past seasons. Florida State is Florida State. Washington is Washington. Michigan is going to win the national championship this year, not because they're just so great, but because the SEC is down. Period. The SEC is down this year. It's a great opportunity for Michigan to win a national championship. Make no mistake about it. If this was the Alabama team of past seasons, Michigan would have no chance. If this was Georgia of the last two seasons, Michigan would have no chance. Those teams, they're just too fast, athletic, explosive, powerful, and it's been proven in the bowl games. But this year, it's different. The SEC is down. So what an opportunity for Michigan. Best case scenario, Michigan wins the national championship, and then Jim Harbaugh comes and becomes the Bears head coach. Best case scenario for everyone involved. But this sign-stealing thing, it's equivalent to you farting and then making it a national story. That's how ridiculous this thing is. Michigan is not winning because of signs. They're winning because of their recruiting efforts. Period. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments.